Just real quick before we talk about how to know when to fight the universe or to let go, which is such an important topic and something that I've struggled with for, I continue to struggle with um, for years, for most of my life. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that a lot of my clients also struggle with, something that uh, I want to create a dialogue about. But before we touch upon that, um, actually not touch upon, we're going to go deep. We're not going to do no half-ass um, surface shit, right? Uh, let me remind you before we get into that um, to throw away any underwear that you have that doesn't make you feel sexy. I know I'm not trying to get all, you know, John Condo and shit, but there is truth to little things that are big. There is truth to uh, something as simple as your underwear. And it doesn't have to make you feel like super sexy. I'm not talking about only wear underwear that uh, you wear on, on, on date night or, or you know, Whatever your thing is, um, lacy or silk, I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying underwear with holes, right? Underwear uh, with, and I'm, I'm specifically talking about underwear because we don't talk, especially men, we don't talk about this shit, right? So things that make you feel grayed out, uh, you know, it, it kind of they kind of act as stones in your shoe, right? It, it's not like a big deal, but over time, um loose underwear, saggy underwear, underwear with holes. Uh, it, it just makes you feel like you've given up on life. <laughs> so today I want to start with your underwear. Put more intention, effort into what is um, underneath your pants. It's going to make you feel better. All right. So I think one of the difficult things in life is to distinguish when do you insert discipline and put your head down and grind and work hard and push yourself because you know that's what's required for you to do whatever you want to do, accomplish whatever goal um, you want to accomplish, uh, give back to the world, you know, um, be of service, make your dent, all of that. When do you know that you should do that meaning work hard because you're not working hard enough. And when do you know when you should not do that and let it go because what's happening is you are wrestling the universe. You're trying to force something to happen and it's not happening. It's not going to happen. Uh, you're, forced, you're forcing something to happen on your time. You're forcing something to look a certain way. I've been on this planet for 48 years and what I've learned is the universe delivers on her own time. And it doesn't matter how much money you have, how successful you are, um, you, you cannot control that, you know? And so the big question is how do you know when to go, when to kick in the turbos, and when to, uh, or when to let go, when to trust your story, trust what you've built. Okay, so for me, and the reason I'm talking about this is because it's something I've been struggling with lately. Um, I've been struggling with some um, career stuff that, that's uh, potentially on the table and not knowing, um, you know, do I work harder at something? Do I put more effort? Uh, do I think of, you know, creative ways to execute? Or do I let go? And, and do I just um, get out of out of the way and, and trust that uh, things are going to happen or not happen um, when when they're meant to, you know? Or or maybe they're not meant to happen, and that's the catalyst that's going to um, reposition me or make me uh, learn something or grow, you know? So here's what I think. The first thing is I don't think it's a logical process. I don't think it is something that you logically think about. I think the decision has to come from more of a, a, a spiritual place. I think the decision has to come from you dropping into your body and really uh, using your body, uh, intuition, soul as a radar. Uh, and, and I think the reason why this is so hard for me is because uh, I've, I've never really lived this way. You know, I've lived a life strictly based on logic, 
on things that are make sense on paper. Uh, I, I, I yes, I have taken a lot of risks and I've, um, you know, fanned the the the, the fire in my belly by doing things that um, felt honest to me and that I'm really passionate about. But uh, I, I have not practiced a lot of this is what my intuition says, right? This is what my soul says. Uh, that that's that's kind of foreign to me, and so. I think that's where the answer is, and I think that's why it's so hard for me is I'm not used to thinking that way. Most people are not. Most people are logic-driven. Most people need to um, you know, review facts. Most people need to see proof. Most people need to see it on paper. Uh, they're not going to go on intuition. They're not going to go on what they feel, especially if it doesn't even make sense, right? And so... I think that's the practice, and I think the the answer is in there somewhere. Well, what I've been doing in the last um, few weeks is to take a breath. Everything starts with with a breath, at least for me. And uh, I think when you I think when you calm yourself and you're not making decisions based on fight or flight, um, there's more accuracy there, right? So the first thing I do is calm myself. I take a breath. Um, I get out of my panic state. And then I ask myself, am I doing everything that I can to accomplish whatever I'm trying to accomplish, right? Whatever is in front of me, am I doing everything I can, but, and this is really important, without losing my sense of self, without exchange, exchanging my, my truth for membership, as I always say, Am I doing everything I can in an honest way that lines up with who I am and, uh, and, and, and how I want to live, right? Am I doing everything I can that also lines up with my values? Or am I doing things that um, is me pulling more from my pseudo self instead of solid self? I have two tattoos on my arm. Well, I've got more than two, but I've got one that says pseudo next to my, above my elbow, and on my left side, on my right side, it says solid. And it's a reminder to myself that we have these tugs, you know, and I think for me, because what I'm struggling with is a career-based and, and uh, um, you know, uh, building uh, something and projects and deals and all that, uh, it triggers the old part of my life when I was just chasing shiny things and I hit pause on life be, uh, until uh, the deals came through, until the things happened, right? Um, and they didn't. A few happened, but not like, um, not enough for me to pursue the thing, not enough for me to believe in myself. And so because those things didn't happen, I was miserable and I, um, I, I, I didn't really live, right? I lived outside in instead of inside out. And so The cause of that was living a life that was very pseudo, that was not authentic. And then I didn't like myself because I was uh, living in pseudo instead of solid. So dropping into your body, doing everything you can as long as you are pulling from your solid, authentic self. I think that's what you do. Now, anything after that, you got to let go, you know. Um, I get obsessive over things. Uh, I, 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 I do think there is a good version of losing yourself, and that's when you hit flow states, right? So when it comes to creativity, when it comes to um, um, pushing yourself into what I call the white zone, the uncomfortable or the scary, uh, some of that is good because you hit flow states and, and a, logic, a lot of magic happens there. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... Um, doing things that don't line up with your truth you know and i think that's when you start to know okay wait a minute uh i don't feel good about myself why am i going at this so hard uh i need to stop because what happens is when you do pull from your pseudo self i think the magnet flips you know i think now what you want gets pushed away because it's not coming from your truth. It's coming from a, a, a false version of you. 
and we all have a pseudo we all have a solid right we all have different parts of ourselves uh, no one is a hundred percent solid in their solid self 100 percent of the time right unless you're jesus or buddha or <laughs> I, don't, I don't know maybe an alien um but as a human being we all have different parts of ourselves and if we are pulling from our pseudo then i think we have to stop and take a breath and start pulling from our solid uh do everything we can to pull from our solid self ask yourself what that looks like to you in all areas of your life and then everything else you have to let go everything else that's beyond your control other than you being honest to yourself and pulling from a solid place other than that you can't control anything else you know you can't control um, someone else's yes or no someone else's opinions of you or what you're building you can't control um, when a yes is going to come through you can't control all you can do is work hard and work honest in a way that's honest to you stand on your values and your truth anyway so that's my reminder today and whatever you're going through if you feel like i do where you're kind of unsure do I work harder or do I let go? Maybe this will, this will be helpful for you. Ask yourself, are you, are you pulling from an honest place? Are you chasing or are you attracting, right? If you're pulling from a pseudo place, you're chasing. If you're pulling from an honest place, then you're attracting. So as long as you're pulling from an honest place that lines up with your truth and your values, your solid self, that's all you can do. Let the rest go.